Hello Sagittarius, welcome back to my channel and thank you for being here with me. Um, today we're going to be looking at your next 48 hours, so we'll see what is predicted for you in the next couple of days. It can be in regards to anything that pops up here for you. And um, before I begin, I just wanted to say please subscribe to the channel, that would be amazing. Uh, if anyone out there is after a private reading, I am currently accepting those, so uh, feel free to email me and I can send you all the details. Um, and also, if anyone wanted to become a channel member, you will get access to member-only content uh, and extended readings as well. So um, feel free to do that, um, to do that, I should say. Uh, you just have to click on the join button on the homepage of my YouTube channel. So, um, okay, let's see what's coming up next 48 for Sagittarius. Okay, we've got a Capricorn coming up or a sort of a toxic situation maybe with a devil card. There's there's someone here who's been playing around and not really being as committed. Okay. Okay, Knight of Swords, Page of Swords. I'm getting an energy where someone keeps rushing back to their past or an ex every time things don't work out well. Or it's like they every time something bad happens, they rush back to an addiction or they do something bad. They do something that you know you're going to be unhappy about. They know you're going to be unhappy about, um, Sagittarius. They've got you figured out. Okay, could be an Aquarius as well. Mm -hmm. mm, Aqua and Cappy. Okay, they they know they're doing something wrong, but they don't really want to talk about it. They're putting their walls up, so it's like you're not going to get much from this person. Some of you are going to get blocked, or you're doing the blocking. And it's, it's tiresome energy. Sagittarius, what is this person doing? The star is reversed here. Ten of Wands is upright. Ace of Cups. Five of Pentacles. Okay, this could be a new start or some. It's like you hope that things would be different this time around, but I feel like someone's showing you they haven't haven't changed here, Sag. They've got some some inner work they need to do. They need to work on, um, and they haven't done that. Okay, so I'm getting that this person hasn't hasn't necessarily changed their ways, and you thought it would be different. Ace of Cups is reversed here, so they're. For some reason, someone's not wanting a, a new start or they don't, their heart's not in it. What concerns me is that we've got Virgo energy. Okay, the Hermit's reversed. I don't know if some of you are scared to be alone, so you sort of tolerate this behavior such, but the more you're tolerating it, the more that this person is doing it. They could be taking advantage here. And now, like, they've got some nerve to give you the silent treatment after they've done you dirty. Uh, okay, they need to work through their issues here. Someone's not healed. I feel like you're coming up in an energy where you're, I'm getting you're being more mature than them in a situation. Uh, you know, this is like paranoia cards, um, cards of drama, but they're reversed. So I feel like that's your fire energy. Okay, you, you, you don't really want this drama. You keep getting it from this person and it's like you're thinking to yourself, this is not what I signed up for. Because every time it gets tough or there's a bump in the road, they're quick to just leave. Okay, they've got some healing that needs to take place with the star card. I don't know if they just want attention. Someone might be doing it to get your attention. And I know it sounds weird, but hear me out. It's like they do something on purpose that they know is going to tick you off just so they can see you explode, just so you can blow up their phone and call them and be like, I heard you did this, why did you do this, you know. Sometimes they do it for that attention. The star wants attention. And I think with the devil card, it's showing me that they're doing this for a reason because it hooks you back in. And it gives them like this quick release, like this quick endorphin, like, oh yes, Sagittarius still wants me. You know, I still got it. They still care. I can do this and I can do that and they'll still be there. So, uh, you know, it's them getting that reaction from you that I feel like, gets their rocks off 
I do. Um, but I'm, I am seeing a block, but block comes out of anger and control, right? So it obviously takes effort to block someone. So there's obviously something that has had to happen um, that was pretty intense, right? For this, for this to happen. So people don't just go blocking for no reason. Uh, they don't just go being angry for no reason. And you know, the opposite of love isn't hate, it's indifference. So if they truly didn't care, they would be doing something else right they just they wouldn't care they wouldn't bother to block and to to get your attention this way so could be that they're someone he's uh, is trying to make you jealous and they know i feel like this person knows you already so they know what ticks you off they've figured it out where you're coming from though sag i get a vibe that it's becoming a bit too much for you but I also feel like you don't want to be alone, so you just deal with it anyway. Like, maybe you're going through a tough time right now. Maybe you just need a company. You know, the intimacy is really good. There's something that keeps you coming back to this person. Uh, but I feel like they are obsessed with you. And there are they are obsessed with giving this, like, getting this reaction from you. Ace of Cups is reversed here, but we've got the Ace of Swords. Serious so I think, yeah, some serious change would need to happen. Otherwise, they're just going to keep repeating this. And it's not a good energy to be in, but I do feel like someone could be blocking you uh, in these next couple of days, or you might be blocking them. And I also feel like this they're, they're doing it for attention. They might even tell you this. They might even say, I know this this ticks you off that's why I'm doing it there may be an apology that comes with this as well is it sincere it's hard to say uh, I feel like you're not going to get much from them it's like pulling teeth you know they're not going to be there giving you all this information telling you all these things Saj it's it's going to be a tricky sort of situation here okay they could also be like keeping things from you like uh, like Instagram, for example, they might hide you from their stories so you don't see. Um, they might block you from accessing certain content of theirs. Like they, there may be something that they do want to hide or they don't want you to see. Maybe they don't want to hurt you anymore. Maybe they feel ashamed or they just want to do their own thing for now. Uh, but I feel like there could be some things that they're trying to make sure you don't come across. You know, they change their password to their phone. It's sneaky behavior. And there could be other options. They may be juggling another person altogether uh, that could come into the picture. It could be another Cappy. Cappy, we've got the star. So Aquarius, Virgo with the Hermit. I mean, every, a, a lot of signs are here. We've got a lot of air. Uh, water, in particular the moon, so I'm guessing Pi uh, Cancer, could be Pisces, uh, but Cancer's coming up here as well. Yeah, I'm just getting, I'm just getting a maturity from this person right now. I'm getting that they might not necessarily be in love, they do have some attachment, but right now I feel like with the games that they're playing, they just... I see you sort of letting them play these games on their own, and I see you probably pulling out. I don't think you want to end it entirely, though, Saj, and I think it's because of fear of ending up alone or because you might not have anyone else lined up. Some of you might have another person, and then you're like, see ya, and then you leave this one for that other person, maybe. So could be that as well. Might be what you want, might be what you want, uh, want to do. As to, yeah, leave this leave this person behind okay i'm gonna leave it at that stage so thank you again for tuning in uh, just a quick reminder if you did want a private reading with me i am currently accepting those feel free to email me over um, your details and i can book you in also please subscribe to the channel that would be amazing thank you so much and if anyone out there wanted to become a member uh, all you have to do is hit the join button on the home page of my channel and that's going to give you access to bonus readings and extended readings um, etc so uh, thank you again everyone lots of love sag and until next time bye for now